woman from Chicago who vanished a week ago on a trip to the Bahamas. Taylor was there, Taylor Casey, in the Bahamas on a yoga retreat. The U.S. State Department says they're aware of her missing case and they're working now with authorities in the Bahamas to carry out the search, the ongoing search. News Nation senior national correspondent Brian Enton is there for us on the ground at Paradise Island in the Bahamas with more on the ongoing investigation. Brian, I really want to start with uh, my interview with the niece just a little while ago saying that she last saw her aunt's phone ping in the water where it was found. Have you been able to confirm that? And what more are you hearing on the investigation? Yeah, we had heard that, Marnie, but that's the first time we've actually heard it from a family member. So that was new information that you got uh, this morning from, from the family uh, of this missing woman. What's interesting, though, and I don't know if, you, if you've ever tracked someone when you've been on like a vacation, a family vacation, is sometimes if you leave your phone on the sand near the water and you go in the ocean, it can almost look like it's pinging in the ocean. So we're going to have to figure out uh, the details of that and whether the phone was actually found. We're trying to get more information from police. But this is certainly a disturbing mystery, Marnie. This 41-year-old woman, you mentioned it, she's from Chicago. Uh, she's really into yoga, been doing yoga for the last 15 years, came here to this very, very well-known yoga retreat. It's called Sivananda Ashram. Um, it was actually rated by Gwyneth Paltrow's lifestyle uh, brand Goop as otherworldly. So it's known around the world to be a wonderful place, a beautiful place to come and study yoga. And that's what this woman was doing. Uh, according to the ashram, she just vanished. I went out to the ashram, a little tricky to get there because there's no roads on that part of the island, uh, but th this is what we found. Take a look, Marnie. It's not easy to get to the Sivanandra ashram, the yoga retreat uh, where Taylor Casey was staying. There's really no roads to get there here on Paradise Island, on this part of the island, so the only way that we could find is to walk down the beach. So we made it to the ashram uh, where she was staying. You can see it's, it's pretty quiet right now, but there are people still staying here. There's some smaller buildings on this side. There's uh, larger buildings over here, and it's very, very close to the Atlantis Resort. Those big pink buildings in the distance, uh, that's a big, big tourism destination here on Paradise Island. But I'm not seeing anybody searching on the beach. Yeah, there is or nobody searching. No, I haven't seen anybody searching either. That's why I was surprised you didn't like say, I was thinking there'd be like flyers. Oh, well, you can go in there. Hi. Do you know any, have anything new to, about the missing I woman, nothing. Taylor Casey? No, we heard no? nothing. Okay. We heard nothing, so you won't have to get any information from us this evening. C can I leave my card? Is that okay? My business card? Yeah. I'm okay. So I was kind of surprised, Marnie, um, that there were no posters anywhere. None of the guests there seemed to know that there was even a missing woman. I guess a lot of the people who were studying there last week have left. The new people have come. Uh, we got a statement from that yoga center just a little while ago, basically confirming that she's missing, saying that they saw her uh, Wednesday night and then she vanished. And then also saying, look, we've got people here meditating and sort of politely asking me not to come back. Um, so that, that was kind of interesting, but you know, the, the search continues here uh, in the Bahamas, Marnie. Right, so the, it was the, the yoga retreat that, as far as I know, reached out to the family and says she didn't show up for, her, for some of her scheduled events. As you were walking around, Brian, did you notice any security cameras, anything that could help as evidence as to the last time she was seeing her whereabouts and where she went? Yeah, I didn't see any cameras right there near the ro yoga retreat center. It's very, very rustic, as you can see in the video. It's, it's a beautiful part, the western side of Paradise Island that's kind of uninhabited. Um, and it, you kind of get this feel that people that probably don't have internet or cell phones, they really go there to disconnect. So I didn't see any cameras. But on the other end of the island, uh, where that big Atlantis resort is, there's a ton of cameras. And there's cameras coming on and off of the island. Uh, so those are certainly things that uh, the police here in the Bahamas are looking into. Right now. You guys, welcome back to my channel. We're going to jump right in today. We're going to talk about the disappearance of Taylor Casey, she's 41 years old, from Chicago. She went, if you haven't seen this in the news yet, she went over to the Bahamas. And the last time she was seen over there was Wednesday, June 19th. They haven't seen her since. And she is, you know, over in Paradise Island, over in the Bahamas. It's a very secluded area. It's only one way to get over there. 
as you saw in the news reporting and uh, she's been over there since like i said june wednesday june the 19th was the last time i mean that's when she went missing so she went to a yoga retreat they said she's been wanting to go there forever she's been doing yoga for like 15 years she was very heavily into yoga so if you don't really know what yoga is it's a bunch of meditation and stretching it's mainly about meditation and relaxing and kind of de-stressing and stuff like that so I don't know if she had a class that she taught or something but they said that she wanted to go over there like she had been wanting to go there forever like you know it's always gonna be some places that's on your bucket list in your life you know places that you might want to go to and that was one of hers she kind of wanted to go over there really badly because she's been in the yoga 15 years and they said she wanted to go over there and learn a lot about the yoga and then come back go back home to chicago to the u.s and then kind of teach people what she learned so i don't know and i don't want to speculate that she had a class or anything like that but they did say in some of the news reports that she went over there because she loved yoga and then she wanted to come back to the u.s and teach people about it or tell other people about it now over there i saw how expensive i went to the website and it's called sivananda ashram retreat in the bahamas and i went to the website and it's expensive you guys it's not cheap so and then you know you gotta pay for your flight and all of that and then you're on this secluded island and you're at this retreat in the bahamas and then they said it's also highly rated and highly recommended by gwyneth paltrow her company called goop and it's highly recommended on her website which you know i think us who you know live in the u.s and who are americans i think we have this kind of false sense of safety and you know even over here in the u.s things can happen but i'm just saying like i feel like we have a false sense of safety mm -hmm. and sometimes i don't think we really pay attention to you know when we think about all these different tourism places we think it's a place to go and just relax and have fun well for me personally i've never done a whole lot of traveling in my life so my husband and i you know when i got married you know to my husband we try to travel but we mainly go places that we can just drive like you know three hour five hour drive we live in atlanta and so you know like a five hour drive to florida or you know somewhere close by south carolina asheville you know north carolina we go places like that we've been to chicago we went there back some years back but whether you're in the u.s or abroad out of the country you still need to be very cautious and then i think again like i said i think a lot of people have a false sense of safety and you just feel like okay i hear stuff in the news but it'll never happen to me so i think people kind of let their guard down but um, she went to this yoga retreat spent a whole lot of money i'm gonna drop stuff down in the description box about it spent a whole lot of money and then you end up it's a tent that you end up sleeping in you don't even have a room it's a tent so that would have been a negatory for me because i've never been like a even though i'm from originally born and raised in georgia i'm not really an outdoor person like that so and i definitely don't want to be sleeping in a tent so that was the kind of setup there and like i said it's called the siva nanda ashram retreat in the bahamas and you guys at the time that she went it was like a level two travel advisory as of february 24 which is just a few months ago what well, we're in july 9 so february was just a few months back and uh, you know there was a level two travel advisory so the lowest level is one and then two and then there's a three and a four level four means really don't travel at all and i'll put that on the screen to let you guys know about the travel levels of uh, travel advisories but anyway i feel like whenever someone's going out of the country because you know you can just do some re some online research and some youtube research and you can find out a lot because you really you know if you've never been somewhere you know you're gonna make all these assumptions because a lot of tourists go to these areas so again i feel like there's so much of a false sense of safety you know when we live over here in the u.s and then we travel abroad or we travel you know out of the country but there was a level two travel advisory over there mm -hmm. so you know level two that's next to the level one level four is the worst travel advisory so you guys she's been missing 
you know, since then, like I said, the last time they saw her was Wednesday, June 19th. They haven't seen her since. And what we over here, we have to understand from, you know, who live in the U.S. or we don't live abroad. We have to um, understand that things are different over there than they are over here. You know, if someone goes missing, you know, over here, you're going to see FBI. You're going to see all of these, you know, departments getting involved. You're going to see flyers. You're going to see news reports. You're going to see all kind of stuff, you know, saying that somebody's missing and trying to find them. But, you know, when you go out of the country, it's totally different. So as you see in the news report, as you saw that I just aired, you know, it's hardly been any search. There's no flyers. You know, because at, at the same time, it's a business, so they don't want to, you know, scare the people that's already there. I get that. I've owned a business myself. But to me, like, you owe your due diligence to the other customers that's still there at that place of business. To me, you owe them to tell them, you know, that someone who was staying here is missing because you don't want to hear that in the news or you don't you know to me that's gonna make the business look even worse you know and of course you know when you go out of the country to all of these places that people go to out of the country or to these caribbean places a lot of times you know the main revenue that they earn in these countries is a lot of time from tourism thank you and so you know if you go to these places and something like this happen you know, don't be surprised that they're not really trying to announce it to the world. They're not trying to put it out here. They're not trying to say somebody was staying here and they missing. They're not trying to have your picture in the news. They're not even really trying to do, they're not putting themselves in your shoes because again, this is how, this is the main way that they um, earn revenue in some of these countries. And so we have to understand that before we even go to these countries. And then another thing, in my opinion, is, you know, people, women that travel alone, like, I don't get that. There's nowhere that I want to go so bad that I'm going to travel alone. And in my opinion, I'm old school, but in my opinion, that's very dangerous. I don't care how safe in your mind you think it is. You know, there's a lot of trafficking and stuff going on. And a lot of times they use women to kind of you know, kind of befriend you or whatever they do to try to bring you in and you don't even know what's going on. So, you know, I don't, I mean, and I think she went over there. I think Taylor or Casey went over to the Bahamas by herself. And so I get it, you know, the excitement, the thrill of wanting to go out of the country or want to go abroad. I get all that. I'm not one who wants to go out of the country because like I said, I've never traveled a lot. So it's so many places in the U.S. that I've never seen. So for me, in my head, why would I want to go out of the country if I haven't even seen a bunch of places here in the U.S.? Like Boston is one, Minneapolis is one. I've never been there. Those are two places that I'd like to go. Chicago, my husband and I went there before, but I would love to go back because the food is delicious. But you, at the same time, you have to be careful as a woman. You cannot travel alone, in my opinion. I mean, I, when I did hair, I had customers who traveled alone, female African-American customers that would travel out of the country alone. I, and I would be in my head thinking, oh my God, I, would, I just couldn't do that. I'm not bold enough to do anything like traveling alone. Not only do I feel it's dangerous, but when you get over there, like, who you, what you gonna do? Like, who you gonna hang out with? Who you gonna sightsee with? You know, it, to me, it's just dangerous. And I think we over here in the U.S., we have like a, a false sense of safety. And we take, in my opinion, dangerous risks. And, you know, this is about, this video is about Taylor Casey, but it's also about a lot of other women, no matter what your nationality is. But, you know, it's pretty much a known fact. And I will drop the statistics down below. The African-American women get, you know, they become missing the most and they a lot of times nobody try to look for them or you don't hear it out here a lot so i'm trying to put it out here on my channel and put it out here as much as i can but the parents her i mean her family her mom and her sister i haven't i don't know about uh, i haven't seen anything with her dad yet not saying that he ain't out there you know trying to find his daughter but i'm just saying the information in the news i've been seeing is her mom and her sister i believe it is they actually went over there, as you can see, and they tried to search and they 
you know, they're saying, you know, please treat this like this is your own daughter that's missing. But we over here in the U.S., we have to understand, like, they don't do things out of the country, overseas, in the Caribbean. Even that movie, Taken, mm -hmm. when his young teenage daughter went out of the country with her friend, and then she, got, she became missing. So, you know, the way they handle things over there, or out of the country, or abroad, is totally different than how we handle things in the U.S. So we have to know that before we even book a flight book a hotel book a resort to go out of the country and then on top of that to go out of the country by ourselves as a female and as an african-american female you know that's to me that's very unsafe and unwise and you know you can feel in your head and in your heart and your soul and your spirit that i'm so safe uh, but you also have to be wise because sometimes we have we be thinking okay stuff in our head but at the same time you got to be wise you got to do your research and it was a level two travel advisory so level two i wouldn't be going number one for that number two i wouldn't be going because you know level two i wouldn't be going because it's unsafe so i just wanted to put this out here you know please consider reconsider if you're traveling alone like I said, a lot of African-American women get missing and never found. I'm going to drop some of that information down below. I don't care if you're going somewhere abroad or somewhere in the U.S. If you're a female, please don't travel alone. I just feel like it's unsafe. You know, it's up to you what you do. But on my channel, I think it's very unsafe. And I would say, please be careful. It's a lot of trafficking going on. It's a lot of stuff going on out here. And some people don't even be aware of it. But it's a lot of stuff going out here in the world going on. So please be safe and please travel in pairs. And if you go out of the country, please do your research and do your due diligence to see what the travel advisory is. Because a lot of these places, the crime is way higher. Because like I said, the way their police and stuff handle stuff, you know, it's totally different than how we do over here. So over there, you know, they not they only talk to her parent, her mom twice. And so, you know, they probably feel like, okay, we did our due diligence. We talked to her mom twice. But at the same time, you know, over here in the U.S., if her daughter would have came missing over here or in Chicago, they, there would be a very ongoing search for her. There will be continuous searching, continuing news reports and all of that. So please be wise. Please be safe out there and please travel safely and please travel in pairs. And we're going to keep this updated and, and see, you know, if I hear more new information out of the description box, but I will put more information down in this description box if it's updated and preferably she's safe and prayerfully they will find her soon and peace and blessings to her family and i hope that they will find taylor casey soon thank you guys for watching please comment like subscribe and share and i'm gonna see you guys on my next video i appreciate you watching thank you see you soon